right, g'day. Welcome to Guitar Theory for those that can play but can't read music. Today we're going to analyze the song Sweet Child O' Mine by Guns N' Roses. So the first thing we want to do is try and work out what key are we in. So let's look at the first chord, D. All right, could be D major. Oh, wait. It can't be D major because we've got a C major chord. Let's look here. The key of D major here, D. E, F sharp, G, A, B. We've got a C sharp. So we can't have a C major in the key of D major, but we can in the key of G. So, all right, so this progression we could write in the key of G. D being 5, C being 4, G being 1, D being 5 again. So five, four, one, five. And then we come to the chorus, we get A major. Ooh. Okay, so A major scales here. So an A major chord, basically we go notes one, three, and five. An A major chord is made up of those notes, A, C sharp, E. If we come up to the key of G and build an build a chord off scale degree two, A, we get A, C. E, the one, three, five rule works again. One, three, five. They're different. That's got a C natural. A major has a C sharp. So that's why they say a minor chord is a flattened third because that C sharp has been flattened to a C natural to make this A minor. All right, but this song's asking for an A major. So they've introduced the C sharp note. It's not a key change because no new key has been initiated. The next chord is a C, so we very much come back to G, but what, where could this A, what's it functioning as? Well, I'll tell you, it's called an applied dominant. All right, so back in the key of G, we come to the dominant scale degree, number five. All right, an applied dominant is when we use chord five of five, so... D major, let's come to the key of D major. One, two, three, four, five, the dominant. The fifth is A major, all right? So applying that dominant to the D major, it's going to give some strength to that chord. Now, because this song hasn't quite defined its key very clearly, it does make improvising a solo a bit more challenging. For this, we really need to know our relative majors and minors. So for... D major, it's B minor. So for D major, we use the B minor pentatonic or the B aeolian on the seventh fret. For C major, we will use the A minor pentatonic or the A aeolian, which is on the fifth fret. Then for the G major chord, we will use the E minor pentatonic, the E aeolian, up on the twelfth fret. And then for the D chord, back to the B minor pentatonic or the B aeolian all right it is a bit of a slow way to move around but as you start to become familiar with more of the modal patterns then you can have more options of where to go all right here's the loop Okay, now this next time, we're going to target the Mixolydian mode off the fifth degree. So if we've got a D chord, we come here to number five, A. We can play the A Mixolydian mode. For the C chord, we can play the G Mixolydian mode. For the G chord, we can play the D Mixolydian mode. And for the D chord, back to the A Mixolydian mode. You'll see it on the screen. 
Here we go. So this next time through, we're gonna utilize the Phrygian mode off the third. So for this D chord, we come to our third, we've got the F sharp Phrygian. For the C chord, we've got the E Phrygian. And for the G chord, we've got the B Phrygian. D chord, back to the F sharp Phrygian. All right, I'll show you how we can use those. So. All right, now that we've gone through three different modes we can play on each chord, it's basically on you then to now utilize all three of those specific modes on each of those chords. So let's recap that. So for the D, we can play the Aeolian mode off the sixth scale degree, our relative minor, the Mixolydian mode off the fifth scale degree, the Phrygian mode off the third scale degree. Basically, it's all just D major, but reordered. It's tackling it from a different position. For the C, we can use the A minor pentatonic, or the A Aeolian, the G Mixolydian, or the E Phrygian. For the G major, we can use the E minor pentatonic, or the E Aeolian, the D Mixolydian, or the B Phrygian. All right? So now I'm going to go back on the loop and try and play between all of those and see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> 